Greetings children. In the last class, I taught you the poem The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Just to revise, now we have the summary again. The speaker walking through a forest whose leaves have turned yellow in autumn comes to a fork in the road. The speaker regretting that he or she is unable to travel by both roads since he or she is all, after all, just one person stands at the fork in the road for a long time and tries to see where one of the paths lead. However, the speaker can't see very far because the forest is dense and the road is not straight. The speaker takes the other path judging it to be just as good a choice as the first and supposing that it may even be the better option of the two since it is grassy and looks less worn than the other path. Though now that the speak speaker has actually walked on the second road, he or she thinks that in reality the two roads must have been more or less equally worn in. Reinforcing this statement, the speaker recalls that both roads were covered in leaves which had not yet been turned black by foot traffic. The speaker exclaims that he or she is in fact just saving the first road and will travel it at a later date but then immediately contradicts him or herself with the acknowledgement that in life one road tends to lead onward to another. So it's therefore unlikely that he or she will ever actually get a chance to return to that first road. The speaker imagines him or herself in the distant future, recounting with a sigh the story of making the choice of which road to take. Speaking as though looking back on his or her life from the future, the speaker states that he or she was faced with a choice between two roads and chose to take the road that was less travelled and the consequences of that decision has made all the difference in his or her life. Dear students, now we have the word meanings. The word diverged here means separated and took a different part and took a different direction. Undergrowth means dense growth of plant and bushes. Wanted wear had not been used. Hence means here in the future. And after the explanation, I am sure you will all be able to answer these questions. What, where does the traveller find himself? What problem does he face? Discuss what this phrase means to you a yellow wood it was grassy and wanted wear the passing there leave no step had trodden black how way leads on to way three is there any difference between the two roads as the poet describes them in stanza two and three in the last two lines what do you think the last two lines of the poem mean? Looking back, does the poet regret his choice or accept it? Now you have the VBQ, which is of 8 marks in your marking schemes. Have you ever had to make a difficult choice? Or do you think you will have difficult choice to make? How will you make the choice? For what reason? 
and the second question for your bbq is after you have made a choice do you always think about what might have been or do you accept the reality thank you children and we will be seeing each other soon till that stay safe at home